Hey, what is up, guys? Nighthawk DBZ here. Welcome back to another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle video. And today we're going to be taking on the Vegeta side of the Super Battle Road stage once again. If you guys haven't seen yesterday's video, we did the April Fool's Goku. He was 100% fully easy aid. He was ready to go to take on the Goku family stage, and he did pretty fantastic, actually. So today we're going to be taking on our man with the plan, the big Gallic Gun Boss Daddy himself, Vegeta. Um, so Vegeta, I'm going to go over, it's kind of like with the Goku, I'm going to go over his stats and then we're going to hop right into, I'm going to show you guys the team that I'm running and then we're going to hop right into it and we're going to see how well this Vegeta lasts is on the Super Battle Road stage, see if he's worthy enough to handle such power that is um, against him. So let's take a look. So Vegeta is the Vegeta family category, extreme light, extreme class, key for HP attack and defense 44%, kind of like the Goku. But the Goku was the Goku family and super class, Vegeta, obviously, Vegeta family and extreme class. His super attack, Gallic Gun, extreme, causes supreme damage to the enemy and raises attack and defense for four turns, similar to the Goku. But Goku was obviously the Kame, Kaio, Ken, Kamehameha. But pretty much same um, super attack effect. So he should be pretty good on the stage, if anything. All right, so his passive skill, defense. 88% at the start of the turn, attack 88% when performing a super attack, and plus he gets an additional attack 88% when, uh, when facing a super class enemy. Now, we are versing the Vegeta family stage, so we should be facing none other than the Goku family uh, categories here. So Vegeta will always have his attack 88% far as a super uh, attacking a super class enemy so this is good for vegeta whereas the goku it only was mainly like the first stage so this is good for vegeta all right and then vegeta's category saiyan warrior race royal lineage the saiyan lineage shattering the limit prepare for battle prodigy over 9000 and of course his links i mean his categories which is a little bit more than the goku pure saiyan dragon ball seeker inhuman deeds Planetary Destruction, Vegeta Family, Terrifying Conquerors, Space Traveling Warriors. So, the team that I'm running here is obviously, I do not have the LR Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. Bummer, kind of wish I did, but I don't. So I'm going to be running then the Transforming uh, Super Saiyan Vegeta, uh, who raises his defense. So he should be pretty helpful here. Uh, we do got the big, big boss himself, Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta, who raises his attack and defense when he supers. Which he's going to be really helpful. This team is a bit tanky. Very tanky. Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta. Who has a high chance of stunning the enemies. Which will be very good for us. And also he can have a good defense. For at least 10 turns. Reduces damage for 80 by 80%. Honestly, I said this plenty of times in videos when I use them. If you do not have the Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta. Who easy A's. Definitely will want to get him. He's pretty good. Pretty solid. Likes to build up his defense and stuff like that, which I personally like using this Vegeta a lot. And, of course, we have the Super Saiyan Trunks Future. Uh, he's going to greatly lower defense, but he also raises Super Class Allies by 30% for one turn. Also, he's pretty good with changing orbs and stuff like that and adversing a Realm of God's enemy. So, Goku, obviously, with him... I think close to the end, I think we're going to be fighting some Realm of Gods. I don't, I, I got to double check. I don't think it will work here too much, but hopefully it can help, especially with the Orm Chains. So without further ado, let's hop into the video and let's see how well we do. So it looks like it's the Go Bros, actually. So shouldn't be too bad, but we are fighting a lot of like, super class um, enemies here. So we should definitely be good with this Vegeta and none other. We're getting right off the bat. Kind of got my rewards right there for Brian Cross. All right, so he links pretty well with the Super Saiyan Vegeta right now. So I think we're going to keep him linked up with him. So we're going to attack Grandpa Gohan. All right, and then we're going to attack Kid Goku. And then Vegeta over here at the end, he's going to have a bit of a problem. How do I want to grab these four? I think I'll grab those four. I think I'll attack Grandpa Gohan. I am going to use a Whis. Uh, for precaution here, um, just to kind of get myself my barons on the field. All 
Uh, so far, so good. Not big damage, but we could have got bigger damage if we had an ultra super attack, which is fine. A little bit of heat there that's fine all right now we got our big defenders out which is good personally rather have these guys out all right so we're gonna stun goku we're gonna stun him get him out of here just stun him and i'm also gonna use vegeta to go after go uh, goku as well trunks is not gonna get a super attack i know it could probably use all those intelligence orbs on him personally i i i should be all right I should be all right. As long as Vegeta here stuns, I believe I have him built for combo attacks. So no crits, really. He's just going to kind of get those combo attacks just to try to get that extra stun off if I he doesn't stun the first time. Vegeta here, who should probably be doing quite a bit of damage, so we should be pretty good as well. Trunks is going to probably take quite a bit of damage. Yep, 44,000. But you just get the transformation. It's going to be pretty helpful. Ooh, actually, you link up with the this Vegeta a lot better. I'm liking this. I'm liking this a lot. Okay. All right. This is good. This is really good. So we're going to let Goku sit in timeout. Actually, you know what? We're going to attack him with Super Vegeta. This is good. So far, one healing item. Okay, let's see how well he takes this. I should still have the Whis active, so... 86,000, though. That was quite a bit for a super attack. Or at least we got the second super attack off with this Vegeta. That is good. Okay, we do got our active skill. I think I'm going to use this. So I'm going to use it on Grand Papa Gohan. So let's get that final shine, baby. One point six million on a crit. That should put Grand Papa Gohan close to death. Wow. All right. So. Okay. See if we can stun the Gohan. 1.3. The same as well. I think we're going to just do this. We're actually going to do that. Yeah, and then we'll use that to take out Goku. And that should give us what we need. Because we are going to try to stun the Goku again. Alright, so we couldn't stun him that time. So he is going to get a super attack here. And we're about four turns in, so we're got to make sure that we use up all that we need with the Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta. Because we do not want to push beyond past 10 turns with the Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta because he'll lose his passive. Alright, they're both about the same. It's pretty good. Okay. We'll attack. Attack, and this should be the final kill right here. Hopefully, we don't die here. 24,000, 200, 2,000. That was a little bit more damage. I think the Goku hit him. This might kill me, actually. Alrighty, and we are back. So, I managed to get him to at least half, half health. So, I did just use the Princess Snake there. Um... I kind of wasn't expecting to die there, so that was kind of my bad. Got a little too chaotic there. Um, I kind of thought I had enough health to survive. I kind of wasn't expecting that second super there, so that was kind of my bad. So we're back. We're going to run back at it, and... Um, Gonna definitely see if we can get off the stage because you know it's only the first stage and I don't want to be on it long. All 
Alright, so we do got that final shine. We're gonna use that now. Well, it wasn't enough to put him down, but at least kind of dropped his health down a little bit. All right, come on, Vegeta. Nice, okay, good, good, good. We even got the stun off, so that's good. I think we're gonna let Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta handle it. Kind of start building up the Dokkan attack, too. That's what I want to kind of do. Um, Because if you guys haven't seen the April Fool's Goku video, I managed to get the Dokkan attack off with the Goku, which it did about 2 million damage. So I'm kind of curious to see how the Vegeta's going to do. And see how well he can handle it. But as you guys may not notice here, the Goku and the Vegeta's family, each of their, well, since I ran Yellow or Goku, the health is a bit different. So with Goku, with the Vegeta family, all I'm sitting with 422,000, with the Goku, all I'm sitting with like 600,000. Big difference, actually. So that's kind of another reason why I kind of got to be careful what type of moves I make, because if I make the wrong move, then I might actually regret it a little later so i'm gonna use a weiss here i know i got a pretty good defensive vegeta in the front but i'm gonna use a weiss, weiss just for precaution and hopefully super saiyan 3 vegeta can uh get the stun off against the gohan or the goku because apparently i have him attacking goku and no that's fine so I'm going to try to keep most of my attention on the Gohan because I the Goku is tech and I want to kind of focus more on the other units on the tech. So I'm going to try to be wary with the uh, April Fool's Vegeta. Alright, so that's that's good. So I'll be looking. Looks like this Vegeta will be a little better for defending, but then again, I do have the Whis active, so really, yeah. So we should be good. Kind of want to... Okay, go after Gohan with that. That's good. And then we'll focus some attention on Vegeta... I mean, Goku with Super Saiyan 4. Ooh, 2 point, 231,000, dude. That was a lot of damage. That was a good, good amount of damage. I'm about to die. So hopefully I don't die. Because then uh, I'll be bad. Don't want to die actually. Okay, that's good. 5,048. My biggest concern right here is Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. If he cannot get the counter off. Okay, that's good. Alright, that's really good. Oh, this is using Aider. We're kind of burning through a little bit of healing items here. I don't really want to do that. But... Actually, I think we're going to stun the Goku. Let's see if we can get all those... Ooh, well, we're getting a super attack. I mean, we're getting a Dokkan attack. Not with the Vegeta, though, but I have really no choice, so. Missed that one. That's fine. Well, got a second chance to stun. Alright, 
Well, at least we got him that time. That's good. Hopefully we can get some damage with the Vegeta, though. Eh. Pretty good, pretty good. There we go, that's some good damage. Continue to attack this Vegeta. I mean, Goku. I attack Goku's stun, so that's good. Maybe we could try to finish him up. Should still have a healing item on here, so. Second super attack, that's really good. At least we're building up the defense as well. Goku should be out of here. He should be out of here. Oh, slither of freaking health, dude. I think we're going to end it. I think we're going to end it with a final shine. Why not? There we go. Not a lot of damage, but it is. This is actually the one that they give you, that they randomly give you with no dupes in it or anything. I don't even think it's 55% in the dupe system. Final battle. Now, this one's going to take a little bit of time, so... Ooh. I think first things first, I'm going to usher it. Because it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a little bit. So I kind of want to start building up some type of damage. So this should be able to do a lot of damage to Goku. Hopefully, it should be able to do enough. Yikes. Come on, Vegeta. Prove your worth. Come on, let's crit him. Damn. Did the same amount of damage, but couldn't even do a crit. There goes the crits. Long as we can build up some type of defense here, we should be able to manage for the rest of this fight. Okay. Now, I want to stun the Gobros. I need three, and there's no three here. This is all I could probably do. All right, let's continue to go after Goku. That's fine. All right, um, gonna use a Whis for protection again. Can't go wrong with a little protection in your life, right? All right, if we can stun the Go Bros, then we can just quickly annihilate Goku, get him out of here. And we couldn't. So we couldn't stun the Gobros, huh? That's fine. Ooh, this might hurt a little. 194, almost 200,000. Ooh, look at all them techs, dude. Look at all them techs. Alright, that should do more than enough damage to Goku. Those two, both of these Vegetas in the front should be able to kill this Goku easily. This is going to hurt. Psych, I lied, it didn't. Yeah, close, 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 close. Come on, Vegeta. So close. Oh, 
We only got one more healing item, so hopefully we can start having this defense good. Good enough to at least withstand the Gobros for the remainder. Hmm, well, this is not good. Well, it's not enough, but hopefully we can do something here. Last healing item, too, so we gotta make it all count. Gotta make every one, every one of these hits count now. And we couldn't even get a second super attack off with Vegeta. Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta, so that's kind of a wasted turn. At least Goku is still in the picture, apparently. 356,000, that is amazing damage right there, holy shit. Oh my god, dude, that's like instant kill right here. Yup. Alrighty, guys, and we're back. So, as I'm trying to get back through the stage, I managed to get to the Dokkan part where I can get a Dokkan attack with the Vegeta. So, real fast, we are going to test this Vegeta with his Dokkan attack and see how hard he can hit. Now, the only problem is that I will have to grab these tech orbs. So, it's kind of a shame for the Vegeta. So... That's the only problem, but, you know, you got to do what you got to do sometimes. So, I am going to throw on the... I'm going to throw on the Princess Snake. So, I'm kind of wasting another healing item here, but that's fine. But uh, first things first, I'm actually going to use the Final Shine. So, if we can at least kill one, I'm fine with at least taking one unit down. And hopefully that can be the Goku here. Close to it. So at least we can kill him with a Dokkan attack, hopefully. Alright, so let's do it and let's see how hard this Vegeta hits. Because he's going to take a little bit of damage right here in the beginning. 89, 43, 46. At least there was no super attacks. That's good. Don't mind my dogs barking. Alright, let's, let's try it. I missed that one. That's fine. Alright, let's hope that this can, if this can crit, then we'll be in good shape. Didn't crit, but it was enough to kill 1.4 million, a little bit lower than the Goku was. That's fine, but we managed to beat it with the Dokkan attack. So we're going to hop into the last stage now. We've got a lot we got to run through, so we're going to run through this real quick. Alright, so let's... Uh Let's go. Let's let's try to take out these guys. So I'm gonna try to take out the Goku as fast as possible, but I'm gonna try to save these last three healing items as much as I can. This might hurt a little bit. Yeah, sixteen thousand. Not too bad. So far, so good. Alright, that was quite a bit of damage right there. So, that was definitely a lot of damage. So, we are going to use... who man, these healing items, man. We got a bit of an issue. Let's continue to attack Goku. And hopefully... We can start doing somewhat damage. Because this is not good if we die again. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to start bringing around Super Saiyan 4. Vegeta. And start letting him do some damage now. Just so we can try to get that final shine out faster. I think that's what I had to do the first time around when I did this. Ooh, that's, well, that's a bit of a, um, okay. 
Let's stun the Goku. Let's stun him. And we'll start attacking the Go Bros. Because the friend one is 100%. So that makes it a little bit more better for me. And I'll try to attack uh, Goku uh, periodically. As long as we can stun Goku, I don't have nothing to worry about. And speaking of which, we stun him. That's good. Ooh, double dodge. Nice. This mate might not hurt. 171,000, dude. That was enough to kill him, almost. Holy shit. Oof. Okay. Look at the GoBros out here doing some damage on me. It's not good. Hmm. Shit. That is definitely not good. And I got no more heals, so... Goku's stunned, so it's more of the Go Bros, so... You shouldn't take no damage since they just supered. Alright, the question is, who do I want to attack? Because the GoBros got a lot of health on their hands. I think maybe getting Goku out of here might be the best. I might not kill him though. Hopefully this does a lot of damage. Eh, a little bit. 1.6 mil. That's not too bad. Ah, kind of wish... I think we're going to do it that way. Yup. Throwing off the, um, throwing off the Vegeta, probably a bad idea, but I just kind of, he's not really linking too well with the, um, Super Saiyan 4. And I have one more healing item, which after that's going to kind of rely on all defense at this point, so... Okay, this is it. Final countdown, baby. And if we can try to get up as much health as we can, we should be in some good shape. So I'm gonna try to grab as much as I can to try to grab as much heals as I to heal myself back up as much as I can. And hopefully I can out heal the damage that's be, I'm being get about to take right now. Thirty-two thousand, not too bad. I'm pretty sure the Go Bros are going to be super in soon, so let's hope that they attack the unit that has the highest defense. Goku's out of here. Ooh, man, we are down to the wire here. Okay. All right. That's good. We're doing some damage. Man, this is a, this is a critical fight right here. Getting that transformation. Super Saiyan 2. Let's go. Final shine, not yet, because we already used it. Ha ha ha, that's funny. Ah, shoot. Can we get an extra orb? No, we cannot. The only problem is... Vegeta's not getting a... Su Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta's not getting a super attack here. This could be our downfall. I can block with Super Saiyan 2, but I'm still screwing Super Saiyan 4. So Super Saiyan 4 is going to have to go in with another attack. 
And then maybe, just maybe, Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta and Trunks kid. Okay, we're getting that. We're getting that. I saw that. We're getting the. We're getting the. Thank you. Can we crit that? That's enough. That's enough to kill. That's all we needed. That's all we needed. That's all we needed to win. Holy shit. 31 minutes. So oh, I got to do a little cutting out. But 31 minutes. We did it. We beat it. Took a little bit long this time. Um, honestly, I beat the Goku event within 13 minutes. But the Vegeta taking me 31 minutes like that. 20 minutes. New record. Took me one extra minute earlier to beat it with this team. So. Whoo. That was close. So. This Vegeta. Pretty good. Pretty defensive. I kind of like the Goku a little bit better. I don't know. I feel like the Goku did a little bit more. Um, I guess because he was more for the attack purposes. Vegeta did defend it when he had to. I feel like Vegeta was more in the, um, the line of fire than the Goku was though. So, yeah, Vegeta was, I mean, he was all right, but I feel like the Goku did a little bit better. But let me know what you guys think. Goku, Vegeta, which unit do you think was better for the April Fool's uh, cards? Um, I personally like the Goku a little bit better, uh, but Vegeta will always be my favorite Dragon Ball Z character. So, but other than that, guys, hopefully you guys did enjoy today's video. If you guys did, be sure to smash the like button. Also, if you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell to always stay notified when I upload a new video. Can we get some likes on the, today's video? Let's try to go for 10 likes. So I know you guys liked it, enjoyed it, and uh, want to see more of it. But other than that, guys, until next time, have a good one. Be safe out there. And yeah, until next time. Later.